Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager video tutorial guide. In this first video, we'll be covering how to install the plugin, how to manage the plugin's settings, and how to set up the products and categories in your inventory. Step one, once you have downloaded the plugin zip file from the website, you go in your WordPress dashboard, head over to the left menu and hit plugins. At the top, click add new. At the top again, click Upload Plugin, and then simply drag and drop the zip file into the box and hit Install Now. Activate the plugin, and it's now ready for use. You can find the WP Inventory settings over on the left again, down at the bottom. When you first click it, it brings you to the Quick Start Guide. At the beginning, you're prompted to enter your license key, so you can click here to go right to there. And enter your license key. Save your settings. And now you're all set up to go with all the benefits the license key provides. So let's click back to WP Inventory Manager. And now go through our quick start guide on the status page. Step one is to set up your inventory categories. In this example, we'll be setting up a produce shop. So our first categories will be fruits and vegetables. And with that, our categories are set up. Next, step two is to configure the settings. This first tab takes you to the license key page, which we've already been on. The next tab over is general. You have the permission settings, item display settings, most of which are already set to the optimal setting. Anytime you make a change, be sure to save your settings. You also find date format settings, currency format settings, and search settings. The next tab over is the reserve settings. This provides you with the option to allow users to reserve some of your product from your inventory. Your users will be prompted to do this through a form where they provide their name and email, which you can edit here. And finally, there are image and media settings, where you can set a placeholder image for any product that you don't provide an image for, and other settings. With our settings done, we move on to step three, which is to configure the labels. The labels are how the information for your products is labeled. So if we edit our labels, since we're running a produce company, our fruit does not have a manufacturer per se, but they do have a farm. And our fruit does not have a serial number, so we could click that field off. Feel free to turn off or change all the labels you need. And be sure to click Save Labels up at the top. With our labels done, we can return to the quick start guide and move through step four, which is to set our display options. Here is where you choose the information that is displayed in the product listings, when a user clicks in on the detail, and what shows up in the back end table. So we'll add the appropriate information to each setting. Now that our display settings are ready to go, be sure to hit Save Settings. And then we'll return to our Quick Start Guide. Now we can finally add inventory items. First product would just be an apple, at number one. To go into the fruits category.
and then we'll also add some cabbage for the vegetables category. With products in our inventory now, it's time to insert the short code so our inventory shows up on a page. So navigate to Pages on the left side navigation. Create a page, product inventory, or inventory, or whatever suits your needs. In that page, all you need to do is add this short code WP inventory inside of a couple brackets. Be sure to update it. Now when we view that page, we see the information we set up in the display settings earlier of all of our products in the inventory. And if we click in to one of the products, we see all the detail information also from our display settings earlier. And at the bottom here is the form where users can request to reserve the item from the inventory. Now that we've made our way through the quick start guide, the status page displays handy information and you're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. If you have any questions, please feel free to navigate down to support on the left side where you'll be provided with a simple easy form to reach out to us where we can help you.